that the kingdom of heaven is at hand for you today. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross. That whoever believes in Jesus will not ultimately die, but will have everlasting life. My friends, ladies and gentlemen of Wembley, the, first the good news today is that there is a God. You are not an accident. Your life is not by chance, but you are created. You're created by God, and you are fearfully and wonderfully made. There's not one of us in this square today who God does not know all about. But more important than that, you might say, God loves you. God knows all about you, and he loves you more than anyone else on this planet. And you might say to me, well, how do you know God loves me? I don't feel like God loves me. Well, look to the cross. The cross is the eternal sign of the love of God, of the mercy of God, of the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! My friends, the reason I'm passionate about this is 20 years ago, I didn't give a stuff about God. I was done with religion. I wanted what the world could bring me. I wanted fun. I wanted pleasure. I wanted to get high, and as a result of that, I actually became an addict. I became addicted to alcohol, drugs, sex, and I was a very broken man. You see, I followed the path of the world. Jesus says there's two paths, and all of us are on one of these two paths. Jesus says there's a broad road, a, a, a wide road, that leads to destruction, and many are on that path. And that was me, my friends. I was on the broad road to destruction with many other people. But Jesus says there's another, another path. He says it's a narrow path with a narrow gate, and it leads to life. And he says, few choose that path. My friends, I came to a place 20 years ago where I knew I was on the wrong path. I was caught up in the things of the world, vanity, pride, fear, addiction, pornography, and I had no peace, I had no joy, and I was a slave to my sin. I was a slave to the lusts of my flesh. And my friends, I knew that if I was to die on any day, that I was guilty before God. I was a sinner, what the Bible calls a sinner. But you see, the good news is even though all have sinned, which we have, all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the wages of that sin is death and hell and judgment. And that's me. But the good news is the gift of God. There's a gift. Are you ready? Yes. Say with me, there's a gift. There's a gift. There's a gift. And that gift is Jesus Christ. The gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! When I stopped running from God and I started running towards God, when I stopped running with my sin and my addiction, and when I knelt at the foot of the cross, I was filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. The love of God, the peace of God, the joy of the Holy Spirit flooded my soul. My friends, I'd look for that love in sex. I'd look for that joy in shopping. I'd look for that peace in cannabis. But it all flooded my soul in the power of the Holy Spirit. This is the gospel. Not just words, but power. Spiritual power to set human beings free from the power of Satan, from the power of addiction, and to make them children of God. Somebody say hallelujah in this hallelujah. place. Hallelujah! Praise God. Praise God. God loves you so much. He's got a purpose and a plan for your life. My friends, I realize this message is pretty rare in these lands. But it's been proclaimed all across the world today. There are people being locked up in prison cells for this message. This message.